Hi, I'm Susan from BakeWithMom.com. Today we're going to make soft, chewy molasses cookies. We're going to sift our flour. This is all-purpose flour. We're going to sift about two and a half cups worth, but we're going to measure it after we've sifted it. Instead of doing two and a quarter cups, I would prefer to measure it. Two and a quarter cups of flour is 11 and one quarter ounces. I'm gonna put the bowl on my scale and then I'm going to scoop my sifted flour until I get 11 and a quarter ounces. To the flour, I'm gonna add a teaspoon and a half of ginger and a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. I have one teaspoon of baking soda a half a teaspoon of cloves, a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add all of that to our flour. We're gonna whisk it together to blend it. We're gonna whisk this at medium high. Scrape the bottoms and sides. We're going to add a third of a cup of packed dark brown sugar. Make sure it's the dark. It's nice and robust in flavor. Let it beat for about two minutes. I'm going to add one large egg yolk, just the yolk, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, we add a half a cup of robust molasses. There is original and robust sold in the store. Try to get the robust. Scrape your sides again and the bottom. Next, we're going to add our dry ingredients. Just a little at a time. Reheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to take a heaping tablespoon. So it's a pretty big. We're going to roll it in our sugar. This is that half a cup of sugar that we measured at the very beginning. And place it on the cookie sheet. Place them about two inches apart. Six will probably fit on a cookie sheet because these are very large molasses cookies. So we're gonna put these in the oven for 11 minutes, but halfway through the bake, we want you to rotate your uh, pan around and switch the top sheet to, with the bottom sheet because we're gonna do two at a time in the oven. And the you want the tops done and the bottoms done evenly, and so you'll have to switch the pans halfway through. As I switch the pans, I'm going to rotate them around. And then do the rest of the baking time. Look gorgeous. Now to add a different texture to your cookie, you could use raw sugar and then it would be have crackles of, of sugar on top instead of the uh, granulated sugar melting into the cookie. But it, it looks pretty and it tastes good too. Hi, I'm Susan with BakeWithMom.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can learn to bake something new every Friday. If you have a question about baking or cooking, be sure and leave it below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.